Hey guys, good morning. I woke up super early to do this makeup tutorial for you guys. It's 9.55 a.m. where I'm at. So we're going to be starting off with the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. I'm just going to apply this all over my face with my fingers. This might look a little bit darker than my skin only because my body and my face color do not match at the moment. But that's okay because that's going to get fixed when we apply our foundation. Next, I'm going to be going in with the Urban Decay Naked Foundation, and this is the medium light shade. It's a lot lighter than my skin color. The reason why I'm using it this light is so that it blends in with that moisturizer and it gets my exact skin tone color. I really like this foundation because it's not too dry and it's not too dewy. It's right in between those two, so it's perfect for the fall so that your skin isn't too dry. Because I know when it gets really cold, my skin starts to get really dry and it burns sometimes. So I'm actually really glad I have this foundation so that I can use this as soon as it starts to get cold. Because honestly, you guys, I'm filming this when it is like 90 degrees outside in Oklahoma. So, <laughs> so I'm so grateful that I have this AC because your girl will be dying right now <laughs> with this hot ass weather. I'm going to be applying a little bit of foundation over my brows just with whatever is left on the brush so that it doesn't look like it's just blank on that spot. Next I'm going in with my Too Faced Peach My Cheeks Melting Powder Blush. This is the brush that I'm going to be using to apply that blush. And also, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are wondering right now, why in the world am I applying this without my foundation being set? Well, the reason why is because this is a very creamy, very, very creamy blush. So I want this to blend in very well with my skin before I apply the powder on top of it so that it looks a lot more natural. Next, I'm going to be going in with my MAC concealer. Also, you guys, this concealer is very light, which is why I like it. Now, to apply this concealer, I'm going to be using my beauty sponge. Now I'm going in with my MAC foundation powder so that I can set my full face. I'm also going to be applying the powder on my eyelids and under my eyes just so that it blends in with the concealer and it isn't too light compared to my foundation color. 
Next, I'm going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Caramel. And I'm only going to be applying a little bit of the product just so that my eyebrows look as natural as possible. So I'm going to take my spoolie and I'm going to be brushing the little hairs upwards. You guys can style your brows however you wish to. I just like to brush mine upwards so that it gives it a more natural look and you look more awake. That's the whole point of this look. I mean, when you're getting ready to run out the door, whether it's for work, to take your kids to school, or anywhere, wherever you have to go, it's an easy-to-go look, and it's very, very fast and simple. So I like to look awake, and that's the reason why I like to brush my hairs upwards and do not use any eyeliner or any eyelashes. I don't know if you guys have heard about the Fierce palette from Morphe. Oh my god, you guys, that the palette is freaking beautiful. All these colors for the fall, I can't wait to get my hands on it. That shit launches tomorrow, and I'm ready, bitch. I'm ready. Okay, now back to the tutorial. <laughs> I got a little carried away there. So I'm only applying a little bit of product, as you guys can tell. I'm just underlining my brow, and with the tip of the brush, I'm just going to be applying the product lightly upwards towards the inner brow so that it looks a lot more natural than if I were to be brushing sideways. Now I'm taking the spoolie and I'm going to brush upwards so that the product blends with the hairs. Some of you are probably wondering why in the world am I looking to my right all the time. Well, let me tell you. I'm watching a novella on my laptop while I'm doing this. <laughs> How many of you guys have heard of the novella Teresa? I love this. I'm obsessed with this show right now. This novella just makes my day i think it's so hilarious how she's so evil but anywho this is what we're gonna be applying on our brows right now it is the anastasia beverly hills brow gel and we're gonna be brushing upwards and let the little hairs slightly stay up it will dry up this is what i love about this gel that it dries up and they actually stay in their spot they will not move so let's brush these upwards and let them dry Next, I'm going in with the Max Volume Mascara from Wet n Wild. So, I'm going to be applying a lot of coats of mascara because I'm not going to be using any eyelashes. So I did my lower lashes off camera. I'm not proud of my eyelashes because they are so short, but I mean, everything counts, right? So now I'm gonna be going in with the YSL lipstick. The name is already blurred out from how much I've used this lipstick, but it says the number eight on there, if that helps. It's like a burgundy color. It's so, so pretty, you guys. This is so perfect for the fall. And something I love about this lipstick is that it isn't sticky or anything like that it doesn't really smear so that is actually a very very nice perk because i know how annoying it gets when your lipstick is starting to come off and you get like these little pieces like on towards the inside of your lip i really really hate that and you do not get this with this lipstick so that is what i love about it also one more thing you guys the tip of this lipstick if you guys can see it's very flat and I love it. One side is a lot longer than the other, but it helps you get like those small little areas like right there on the side of your lip. It, it gives you the advantage so that you don't necessarily need to use lip liner. So that is another 
perk from this lipstick. It's a little expensive, but it's actually worth it. that is all for this everyday fall makeup tutorial i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video